Montalcino is in southern Tuscany, which is south of Chianti and south of Florence and west of Montepulciano. The 2014 Brunellos are still on the shelf in most retail stores because of the particular tariff situation that's happening in Europe right now. Most suppliers that we deal with and just in the wine industry in general aren't shipping over any containers from Europe at this point for the risk of the tariffs. However, one of our suppliers did ship over some of our favorite Brunellos. That's why we're the first people that really have the 2015 Brunellos. James Suckling, one of the most renowned wine critics in the world, right up there with Robert Parker, is not only calling this 2015 Brunello vintage a fairy tale vintage, he's going so far to say that this might be the best Brunello vintage that we'll see in our decade. So it's Wednesday night and you don't want to break the bank on a $50 Brunello. Uh, the go-to is to find the Brunello producer that you love and go find their Rosso de Montalcino or their IGT wine. Typically most Brunello producers uh, have like a, a cap of what they're going to uh, make in terms of the Brunello. So once they reach that cap in a good year, all of the extra grapes are just going to go in their Rosso de Montalcino or their IGT and you're going to get unbelievable value from anywhere from $10 to $20. I'm really excited about the 2015 Brunellos, specifically um, the Brunellos that are brought in by our, one of our leading Italian portfolios from Soilaire. Um, he's bringing in Pietronera, Piancranello, um, Ciro Pacenti, which was Wine of the Year by James Suckling, and uh, Poggio Tondo. All of these wines, all of the Brunellos scored anywhere from 94 to 100 points, and they range from 33 to 100. Next time you're cooking or going out to dinner, skip the Napa cab and get something from Montalcino, whether it's the Brunello or the Rosso de Montalcino, you're sure going to love it.